when GNS3 starts up for the first time, the setup wizard is displayed. This allows you to install modern iOS images such as iOS V, IOU, ASA, and other appliances from non Cisco manufacturers. You can also run legacy Cisco iOS images in GNS3 or run everything on a remote server. At this point, I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to use the wizard. Now, you may have problems when GNS3 first starts up. At this point, it looks like I don't have any problems. I can see that my desktop has a green icon indicating that it's successfully started up. Now, if you do have problems, you may need to do some troubleshooting. As a first step, disable the Windows firewall. Firewalls and antivirus software cause a lot of problems with GNS3. The GNS3 software allows you to do things on a computer that no normal user does. Antivirus software and firewalls try and stop abnormal behavior from occurring on a computer. So they may flag GNS3 as being potentially dangerous software. So the recommendation is that you turn off the Windows firewall, you disable all antivirus on your computer, or you install GNS3 on a computer that's not running antivirus software and is not running a Windows firewall. Again, GNS3 allows you to do things that may be considered abnormal and dangerous behavior by firewall and antivirus software. So the recommendation is that if you have any problems, you disable your firewalls, you disable your antivirus, and you reboot your Windows computer. One of the first things to do is to do a reboot of your Windows computer if you have problems. I found that a simple reboot of the Windows operating system can solve initial problems with GNS3. Other recommendations that you should consider are disabling your Windows firewall and disabling antivirus software. On this computer, as an example, I've disabled the Windows firewall and I'm not running any antivirus software. So if you have any problems, reboot your computer, disable your firewalls, disable all antivirus software. Those are your first three steps if you have problems. Now, if you've done those three things, and you still have problems, raise the issue in the GNS3 community. The GNS3 community is the first place to go if you have problems. So if you have any problems with GNS3, the best place to go for help is the GNS3 community. There are over 1 million GNS3 community members. So it's very likely that others have had similar problems to you and may have already found a solution to the problem that you're having. Now that we've got GNS3 installed, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to build a basic GNS3 topology in GNS3. So at this point, I'm gonna close GNS3 down. And in the next video, I'll show you how to build your first GNS3 topology. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.